I'm in the mood for chocolate today and not just any chocolate. I'm in the mood for some thick, rich, creamy Mexican chocolate sauce that I can dip some cinnamon donut balls into. And I'm going to start by pouring one cup of heavy whipping cream into a medium-sized saucepan on the stove. I'm going to add half cup of whole milk. And I like the whole milk just because it's a little richer and a little heavier. And I'm also going to add a quarter cup of brewed coffee. And this is pretty strong coffee, but not quite strong enough. I'm still going to add a teaspoon of instant espresso powder. And in some grocery stores, you can just find this on the shelf near the coffee. I'm going to give it a little mix and then turn that burner on to simmer because I don't want this to boil. I just want it to heat up and come to a simmer. Now while that's heating up, I'm going to put one and a quarter cups of some semi-chocolate chips into, semi-sweet chocolate chips into a large bowl. And I'm also going to chop up some Mexican chocolate. Now this is Mexican chocolate that I just found in the international aisle of the grocery store. The thing that makes this a little bit different is that it's in a box. They come in tablets like this, and it's used to make Mexican hot chocolate mixed with milk. The thing that makes it a little bit different is that it's not just chocolate. It's got some cinnamon mixed into it, and then there's also a layer of some coarse sugar. So when you chop it, you can see it sounds a little bit gritty. It's not pure chocolate, but it's got great flavor. So I've chopped up two of these tablets, and I'm going to add that to my semi-sweet chocolate chips in my bowl. And as soon as my milk mixture comes to a simmer, I'm going to pour it over the chocolate and just mix it until the chocolate is melted. Now you can see that my liquid mixture has come to a simmer. There's a little movement right under the surface, but it's not boiling. And now I'm going to add the secret ingredient, which is a teaspoon of ground chipotle pepper powder. And that is going to give it a real kick. Now you can use chili powder if you have some chili powder on your shelf, but if you can find some ground chipotle, it's a little bit smoky. It's a lot spicier than just chili powder. I'm gonna stir that in and then take my hot liquid and pour it directly over my chocolate that I put into my bowl. And then I'll just stir that until the chocolate melts. And this way I don't have to have the chocolate on the heat and I don't have to worry about it burning. Now you can see my chocolate has melted. It's nice and creamy. And I poured it into my little fondue pot. I'm going to serve it to my guests with some little cinnamon donut balls and maybe some fresh fruit. But you can see you can just dip these little donuts into the chocolate. They're coated and they're ready to eat. You can find the recipe at www.lakelandptv.org. I'm Sue Doden and now we're cooking.